So here we are, finished up. Put the caps on, put the drop tubes in. We got a picture of it, but no video. Got the uh, motor and everything mounted. This is just a compression. It's got a rubber gasket in there that seals, pinches down on that suction tube. Here's another one. This one the customer builds for their own, they manufacture food processing equipment. So they get all the hydraulic components from us and they put their own tank together. This one's got a pressure comp piston pump inside of it. So unfortunately it didn't get set from the factory. So I've got, they assemble it, they bring it back to me. I pull everything out, adjust the pump kind of backwards way of doing it. We're gonna hope to get them set properly from here on out, but this one, just the way we gotta do it. Uh, this particular tank is stainless. It's food processing, so everything's stainless. Um, it's got a desiccant breather on it to eliminate water from getting into the tank. Yeah, so this one's basic. It's just got a pressure comp pump inside I'm trying to convince them to build an L-shaped reservoir uh, so we can mount this on the out, the pump on the outside, so it's easier to adjust and to troubleshoot when there are issues. Because right now, as you can imagine, it's fine to pull the lid off here and adjust it. It's still kind of a pain, but at the plant, they always put these things underneath the machine or underneath stairs or underneath somewhere, and it's just a pain to, to get a piece of equipment in there to pull the lid because the electric motor is mounted to the lid um, it's it's a pain so we're trying to make that change 